TIFU working for FedEx. First time posting here. Normally I just browse this subreddit for the interesting stories. But I feel like talking about what's going on. I struggle with anxiety bad. Like I can't even go to new places or meet new people without being stressed or freaked out. When I first applied to FedEx it was due to desperately needing to pay rent. The thing that's killing me now is that I'm terrified to drive the massive trucks. I almost got ran off the road driving the bulky bitch. So I pulled off to a gas station. And now I'm just sitting and shaking. I feel completely useless and like no job is ever going work out. I'm terrified. I don't want to hit anyone with this truck. What do I do? TL. Dear I have way too much anxiety for the job I got hired for and almost got in a wreck. How did you immediately become a driver? As far as I've been told that's extremely rare. Apply and demote yourself and ask to be a helper till you're ready to move that truck. Hey, anxiety is tough. I battled it for a long time. Still do. Years ago, just going to the grocery store involved me first spending hours pumping myself up to leave the house. Sitting in my car in the parking lot for another hour or two pumping myself up to go inside. Then hours inside working through my anxiety just to go down crowded aisles. Seriously. A trip to the store that might be an hour of someone else's day. That would be my entire day. I still have anxiety. But knowing I had to do it helped me get better at these things. Just keep working through it. And don't worry if it takes time. You don't have to solve your entire life worth of anxiety. Just work on being able to tolerate this specific task. Heck, there's an entire world of things I still can't do comfortably. But the grocery store is easy now. Just think, if you quit, you're out of a job. If they fire you for being a nervous wreck, you're out of a job. If your options from here are the same result, you might as well try for the one that makes you some money along the way and see if you can get a better outcome. Dude you'll make way more and get better benefits working for UPS. Just FYI, you can work as a helper or loader or shifter until you're ready to be a driver. Good luck friend. Driving the bulky bitch. LMAO. I almost got hired as a driver for FedEx. But when I didn't, it really bummed me out. Then I remembered how I constantly have to take clonopin for panic attacks and one of my main triggers is driving. Was a blessing in disguise I wasn't hired. I'd say just apply for a new job. Tell them how you feel or just quit. You don't have to tell them anything. But obviously it's not for you and they aren't gonna move you to another position most likely. I was actually thinking about this today. So you know how you get used to your car and its size? Then when you drive someone else's car it feels weird and big, small. But if you drive it a few times it starts to feel normal size. I bought a big minivan after only having small cars and it felt huge at first but it feels like a normal car to me now. The same will happen to you and the work truck. You'll make progress each day becoming more comfortable with it. Also, drive slow and don't let anyone bully you on the road. You're working. They can wait. Wait. You were hired to drive a commercial vehicle without having a supervisor monitored driving test? Every transportation supervisor I've ever known would have a stroke. Hang in there. I know how you feel. In a couple weeks. It will come naturally you'll wonder what you were so worried about. Try getting some back-end jobs in a bank or cooking. Maybe that would help you start working up and becoming acquainted with people. It's okay to experiment with jobs and find the right one mate. Best part is that you realize your scenes and I guess that's all people need. Haha <laughs> join the club pal. The post office is hiring. 
FedEx's stock price today also sure ran off the road there. I'm sorry. That sucks so bad. Anxiety is the absolute worst. If you aren't already, you need to be exercising and sleeping well. This will help the anxiety. Trust me. Take a sec to recognize the anxiety attack. Give yourself a moment and get back on the road. If you decide to quit, finish the day at least although it's an internal struggle. You aren't alone. Keep going. Do you have access to mental health care? They can teach you different techniques to try to deal with your anxiety attacks. Also, look into beta blockers for anxiety attacks. They won't do anything about the underlying cause. But they can stop the racing heart and other symptoms. Really. Even if you don't have insurance. See if your community has some kind of mental health care available. That's what you really need. Good luck. Upside time. You didn't get in a wreck. Already lots of people are having a worse day than you are. It doesn't sound like it was your fault anyhow. You learned that a type of job isn't for you. You've made a positive decision to talk to your doctor about anxiety meds. Looking back a few months from now you might decide this was a good day. Perks are nice though. Heard you can get Steam Decks for free, s. Boss. You got this. Just the mere fact that you recognize your current limitations says you are able to handle that rig. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.